the Mighty over here with our weekly sports update and my newest mock draft for the Buffalo Bills. Well, since we've last talked, the Buffalo Bills are doing their thing. They have signed the number one defensive rusher in this year's free agency, Mario Williams. And then they added to the puzzle by signing Mark Anderson, another great pass rusher. Had 10 sacks last year. Really improves the pass rush of the Buffalo Bills instantaneously. Well, now looking at the draft, this is my latest mock draft. It could change by next week, but right now we're going to go with this draft. The Buffalo Bills, as you well know, have 10 picks in the upcoming draft, which strategically can benefit them if they want to move up or move down in this draft. This is something that we really need to look at. 10 picks and 7 rounds for the Buffalo Bills. In the first round, I had the Buffalo Bills taking offensive tackle Riley Ref out of Iowa. That would be the 10th pick of the first round. In the second round, uh, the 41st pick, I had the Bills taking Josh Robinson, the cornerback kick returner out of Central Florida. This gentleman had one of the fastest 40 times in the combine this year. He's a good cover guy with good cover spills, cover skills rather, but he also is a blazing kick returner which really could benefit him and make him a pretty valuable draft choice. At number three, the 71st pick, I had the Buffalo Bills taking linebacker Tank Carter from Texas Christian University. This guy has a side-to-side -side skill level and also can play all three linebacker positions in the 4-3 defense. In the, our, now, in the fourth round, we have two picks, the 105th and the 124th. At the 105th pick, I had the Buffalo Bills taking Joe Adams, a wide receiver and kick returner from Arkansas. And then at the 124th pick of the fourth round, I had the Buffalo Bills taking the steal of the draft, Russell Wilson, quarterback out of Wisconsin. This guy can play. I'm, I'm telling you, this will be the steal of the draft. Now in the fifth round, the Buffalo Bills once again have two more picks. They have the 144th pick and the 147th pick. At the 144th pick, I had the Bills taking Andrew Daka, offensive tackle out of Florida State. This guy has good size, good mobility. He's not ready to start right away, but he's someone that the Buffalo Bills could bring in and possibly contribute his first year and possibly vie for a starting job in his second year. At the 147th pick, I had the Buffalo Bills taking D'Angelo Peterson, tight end out of LSU. Great, very good player. And it could add to our tight end corps. We have not really had a tight end that has been consistent over the years. As you well know, Scott Chandler made an impact last year. But this is a guy I think the Buffalo Bills can get at the 147th pick of the uh, fifth round, D'Angelo Peterson, tight end out of LSU. In the sixth round, the Buffalo Bills have one choice, and that's the 178th pick, Travis Lewis, outside linebacker from Oklahoma. Another guy that can get to the passer and possibly add to our linebacking depth. In the seventh round, we're back at two picks. We have the 217th pick and the 251st pick. And I had the Bills taking Josh Labias, guard out of SMU, and at the 251st pick, I had the Buffalo Bills taking wide receiver LeVon Brazil out of the University of Ohio. I think 10 picks without the Bills moving up or down, and we'll just have to take a look at what Buddy Nix really wants to do. But this draft could change because if the deal goes through, Kansas City is, is proposing a deal to get Minnesota's third overall pick, and they would flip-flop positions, meaning that, uh, Kansas City would move up to the third pick and take Ryan Tannehill, the a quarterback out of Texas A&M. That might make Khalil, the best offensive tackle in the draft today, fall to the Buffalo Bills at the 10th pick. And that could change this mock draft instantaneously. So that's what we're going to be talking about. This is the Mighty Over here on our weekly sports update here on CLB TV, live on Ustream and YouTube, and on the internet at www.wfoam.com. With our weekly sports update, join me on Facebook, see my editorials on the Buffalo Bullet, and also uh, on Twitter. I am the Mighty Oba. We'll see you next week 
with a new mock draft as we get close to the draft for the Buffalo Bills.